Yesterday, something mysterious happened in the world of chess. Right of the country, Anam Shazib Khan was up against Harry the Edge Pawn, aka Ginger G and Simon Williams. So let's just not waste time and straightly jump into this whooping rating difference game. Hello you guys, wish you all a beautiful day and a good health. With the intro, you know what this is all about. Let's analyze this game to depth and see how this upset happened. So Ginger GM has a white piece and he opens the game with d4. Now there are many ways black can counter d4 here. If you don't want to allow white to have a strong center here, you can play mainly 3 moves here. You can play d5 to don't allow e4 here. You can play f5 to don't allow e4 here and even can play knight to f6. And here Shadib Khan chooses knight to f6. And now a surprise on move 2. Going bishop to g5 to have a Trumpowski attack. It's a surprise because it is a less theory line and with the more theory GM has a more advantage. Now there are many ways for black to play here. Black can play c6 here, black can play d5 here. But the main line and the main move in this position is actually to go knight to e4 and this actually happens in the game. We have knight to e4. And now your bishop is under attack and here Simon chooses h4 here. Now keep in mind it is not very okay to grab this bishop here because if you take here now you have an open file for the rook and your pieces are not so much developed. And here black attacks at the center with c5 which is considered to be the best idea in this position. Now white has two options here either play d5 or d takes c5. Now d takes c5 is not considered to be the best idea because one is ideas to play queen to a5 check to pick up the pawn. And secondly, you have an engine move which is to play d5. Because if you play it now, you have queen to b6 here, attacking this f2 pawn and now b2 pawn. And you will have a bit of a trouble here. So Simon played d5 and here queen to b6 anyway. So attacking this b2 pawn and here there are mainly two effective ways to defend this pawn. You can play bishop back to c1 here and can play knight to d2. And keep in mind, you can play b3 here because you will have a diagonal problem here because your bishop is not in this diagonal. So here Simon chooses knight to d2 to sacrifice this b2 pawn. And Shazib Khan goes for it. The thing is if you take it directly you will just blunder a piece here. So here first knight takes d2 and now bishop takes d2 and now you take the pawn here. And here Simon played e4 here so he has to justify his sacrifice pawn with the piece activity. And here Shazib Khan plays g6 so he wants to dominate this diagonal with his dark square bishop and now a rook to b1 and it is actually a trap he is offering this a2 pawn which is actually not good to grab because if you take it now a move bishop to c3 you have to defend your rook here if you defend your rook here just rook to a1 and your queen is just lost here so Shazib Khan saw it in place, queen to e5 which is actually best move in this position and here Simon develops his bishop via bishop to g3 and now bishop to g7. So getting hold of this long diagonal. And now he develops his knight by attacking the queen via knight to f3 and now queen goes to c7. Now this position looks good for white with the piece activity but still you are down upon so anything can happen here. And here Simon attacks on the flank with h5. And here Shazim doesn't react to this h pawn and plays t6. So opening the scope of a bishop and now here Simon plays queen to c1. So in the near future he wants to exchange this powerful dark square bishop. And now Shazim Khan plays bishop to g4. So he wants to ruin the pawn structure of white here. And Simon doesn't care about ruining of the pawn structure and plays bishop to h6. And here Shazim Khan plays bishop to c3 check. So here you can actually block with the knight or a bishop here but here Simon plays king to f1. So he has now no privilege to castle now. And now bishop takes f3 so running off a pawn structure now. And now g takes f3 and now knight to d7. And this position looks extremely good for black because white is just down a pawn and secondly he has a ruined pawn structure. And here Simon plays queen to a3 so attacking the bishop and bishop goes to f6. And here king to g2 so he wants to connect both of the rooks and here just Shazib Khan took the advantage of it in place g takes h5 so he just going for the 
g file for the rook and now rook takes h5 and now rook to g8 check and king goes to h1 and here a slow move by shahzeh playing a6 here so shahzeh idea is that he wants to castle the queen side if he doesn't play a6 this a7 pawn will be hanging but the better move is actually to play c4 to shut this bishop off but instead a6 and now c4 himself so he is just not allowing to play c4 himself and now knight to e5 so attacking the bishop and f3 pawn and bishop goes to e2 to defend this f3 and now the queen side castle so this a6 move is now working and now f4 so attacking this knight and knight goes to g6 and here miraculously this position is looking very good for white now his king is very safe on h1 and black has very limited way to attack it and here Simon finds a very good move and the only perfect move in this position playing rook to h3 to shift his rook to the queen side and attack on the black king now and here Shazib Khan plays bishop to g7 so after he take it so he can now pressure this f4 pawn so we have bishop takes on g7 and now rook takes on g7 and he just shifted the rook on the queen side with rook h to b3 and now knight takes f4 and here here Simon wants to play queen to b2 to pressure this rook and this b7 pawn simultaneously but this b2 move loses very terribly but instead of b2 he just mouse slip and plays queen to c1 which just blunders the bishop directly now i will show you why this queen to b2 just loses here yes you have this rook and this pawn is just attack now but you have rook to g6 now and here if you just play here you have check you go there and now you have check and you have to give up everything now if you play this move this is just checkmate Shazib grabs a bishop and here queen to e3 so attacking the knight and knight can just go to d4 and he's safe but now here Shazib can play rook d to g8 and here he just calculated precisely after queen takes e2 he plays queen to d7 and here after queen to h5 he plays rook to g5 this is just hopeless position for white. Here queen take s7 was tried but rook to g4 and you can't just stop this rook to h5 check. Here rook to g3 was played here but rook to s5 check and king goes to g2 and here in this position you're just a whole rook up here. Now the game lasted for few of the more moves but this is just completely hopeless to even try here. And here after rook to f8 Simon Williams resign and what a brilliant victory for Shahzeh Khan. So if you like the video like and subscribe to the channel stay tuned for the more updates.